Welcome back, everyone, to Survival Game Guide, our Sons of the Forest edition, uh, or series, whatever you want to call it. Um, as you can see, we are back in the 3D printer room, uh, because today we are talking about tech armor. Uh, so in this guide, we will be go uh, going over where to find the tech armor, how to craft it, and why you should craft it. Um, so clearly, obviously, uh, you can find the tech armor uh, basically anywhere that you have a 3D printer because you need a 3D printer to craft it. You can see the schematic of the tech armor right here. This is basically what it looks like. Um, and I guess it kind of gives you like the recipe right there. You need 250 milliliters times 10 to craft, um, you know, uh, good old portions of this here. Um, each part, in fact, needs uh, 250, as you can see. Um, so get you a 3D printer. Um, I'm in the one that I like to go to. If you don't know this location, uh, be sure to uh, look at my earlier videos. I do reveal the 3D printer location, um, and at least this one, uh, and how to get to it. There are a few others out there, too. Uh, they are in bunkers and whatnot, so uh, you might find them there, too. Uh, but this is, in my opinion, the easiest one to get to because it doesn't require shovels or anything like that. So once you get to the 3D printer room, uh, you will just need to kind of go through the different crafting recipes until you get to the tech mesh, because this is the primary uh, ingredient that you need to make the tech armor. You can see that it does require 250 uh, milliliters of the uh, printer resin, and you can find some resin uh, within this room. I obviously can't uh, carry any more in here. There we go, now I can. <laughs> um, uh, so you can pick them up here. Uh, they are, you know, in a few of like the locations of like where you'll find like some of the dead guards and whatnot. You know, they're all kind of like in those areas. So keep an eye out for it. Carry as much as you can. You can usually carry about a thousand on you before you can't carry anymore. So stock up while you can. Uh, once you have enough uh, of the printer resin, um, you're going to craft it right here from the uh the printer so we'll say okay we're good we'll hold and uh, and press e and it'll start crafting that now um besides the mesh here you do need a few other ingredients uh to, to craft the armor um and i will show that to you once this guy's done which it looks like it is love that so we'll pick that up um and we'll go into our crafting menu here we'll take a, a hot moment because it always takes a hot moment when you first kind of get in here. Um, there we go. All right. So our tech mesh, uh, we will find the little pieces right here. They look like that. We'll, uh, right click to get into the uh, crafting section here. And what you need to craft these guys, you can see right here, you need at least one tech mesh. You need a wire, duct tape, uh, some of the circuitry board here. Uh, and batteries, which we have here. So it's a little bit of ex it's a little expensive, uh, but um, it is uh, very much worth it. So we'll just craft a piece right here, so you can see what it looks like. There it is. We'll wear it, and I have it right there in my slot. Um, just like any other armor, there are ten slots uh, for you to fill with the tech armor. So you know, use that as you will. Oh, dog, please. <laughs> Uh, but that's basically what you need, and then you just craft it, and it's on your body in his eye, right? So now you might be wondering, okay, uh, clearly, you know, it's very expensive. Is it worth it? And honestly, yes, it is, because uh, tech armor is, at this stage, uh, uh, in terms of, like, the game development, uh, it is, like, the highest grade of armor there is. It's above creepy armor. Um, so it's the strongest, basically, that there is. So it's worth uh, uh, making just because, you know, it's going to defend you better. It's going to help you survive out there. Uh, against all the cannibals and all the mutants and all the nasty things out there. Um, and one thing you might wonder about it, because you can kind of see it in this picture, is it does have like a bunch of lights on it. So you might worry that, you know, those lights are going to like reveal you to the to the um, cannibals and whatnot. And it doesn't. Uh, that's really just more aesthetic than anything. They don't function as an actual light source. Um, and, uh, another little tidbit, I guess, like, a little bonus thing is, um, when you get all ten pieces, uh, you will get, uh, an achievement, uh, called Dynamo. So, you know, if you're an achievement hunting, uh, person, you gotta do it to get that achievement, basically. So, um, that's basically it for the, uh, tech armor in Sons of the Forest here. Uh, come here to print it, print it out to make sure you have the other ingredients to make it. Again, it is expensive, but since it's like the best armor in the game currently, 
uh, I think it's worth the investment because it'll keep you safe. And we like that, right? We want you to survive as much as possible in this game because that could be pretty gosh darn rough. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. If you guys have any questions about uh, the tech armor, armor, whatever, you know, do uh, ask us uh, in the comments. We'll get back to you. Um, and that's about it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. But until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.